Hey, Tara Cherie here coming to you live. It's really good to be here with you today. And um, we're going to dive on in, but before we get started, those of you that are joining in for the first time, I just want to say welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. And if you are returning and joining us again for a second, third time or beyond, I just want to say welcome. I'm really glad that you're here and every Tuesday and Thursday around 12.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we cover a different topic each week. Um, so just be sure to join us. And if you haven't already gotten updates, um, we do have them um, through a VIP list where you'll be the first to find out about anything that goes on, if we do anything special, um, if there's a special Facebook Live, which may happen here or there. Um, it's been kind of difficult to fit those in right now um, with having a baby that's still really little at three months. It's hard to predict those, but um, we will be having them in the future. And so I just encourage you to be a part of that because you'll be the first to find out about emails and to receive encouragement for your everyday life. And so it goes right along with these videos. And I really encourage you to become a part of that. I will leave the link to the VIP list in the comment section. It's just an email. Um, usually those emails right now go out about once a week. Um, we are looking at eventually increasing that. But for right now, um, that's what I'm able to really provide and do. Um, and like I said, that's a weekly encouragement uh, for right now. I have opened that up um, so that I can find out from you, our subscriber, uh, as to what topics you would like covered each and every week. So feel free to join us and I hope that you do. And I just want to welcome you from my home office. And today I want to talk with you about transformation um, and I really prayed about this topic because I really wanted to make sure that it was something meaningful for you, but um, so many things were coming to my mind about transformation. I couldn't even wrap my mind around it, and so I came at it from a few different angles, and I'm going to keep this short. We've been having some technology issues. We are in the middle of getting that fixed and handled and taken care of, so I do need to keep this a little bit on the shorter side today, but I hope that you stay tuned with me through this because I think it's going to be really good. And, um, you know, when you hear transformation, you see, you know, uh, weight loss stories, you see um, marriages transformed, you see relationships transformed. And it's real easy to point a finger and say, hey, this person has the level of success that I want and I want to go after it. But be careful about what you say because um, success can come with a price and we don't always know what other people went through failures wise in order to gain that success. So whatever you do, do not be afraid to fail and do not be afraid to make mistakes. And that's first and foremost, because you will need to make some tweaks and some changes. Success may come right away, but what if it doesn't? Are you going to give up because success didn't fall out of the sky for you or didn't happen for you right away? Or are you willing to stick it out? You know, the average home-based business, it takes at least six to eight years in order to have some sort of level of success. It takes a lot of time and determination and persevering and being consistent and not giving up on where you want to be. Okay, and so I'm just saying it from a home-based business angle, but I'm looking at this from a universal aspect. You know, I'm in the health and wellness industry, and one of the things that we also encourage is when the scale doesn't move, what does it really look like? Well, because the number didn't go down, you're just going to eat the Cheetos, right? You know, you can't do that either. So the thing is, is like, what if something were beneath the numbers to the scale? What if something were growing deep in the root system inside of your heart? You know, change, effective change starts from the inside and works its way out, okay? Because the truth is, we were planted with all of the seeds of desire for excellence. We were planted with seeds to prosper, right? We were given all the right tools, all the right resources, maybe not always the right dynamic or the right circumstances, okay? But that's where we have to choose whether or not we're going to sink or swim, whether we're going to 
prosper or not prosper, okay? You know, because our situation and our circumstance shouldn't determine whether we move forward with something or not. And if not, really search your heart because that can, not always, but that can be an excuse, you know, as to why we're not moving forward with something that maybe we're really being called and led to do. However, we're not following through with it for one reason or another, right? And so we've got to make a choice to move forward no matter what. So that's the next point that I have, okay? If you want to transform, first of all, you can't be afraid to make mistakes. But secondly, you have to be willing to stay the course no matter what it looks like, which is my point, okay? Because if you're looking at it from a scale standpoint, okay, there could be many changes going on inside your body. For example, just because the number doesn't go down doesn't mean that inches weren't lost. It doesn't mean that, you know, you um, didn't lose some sort of fat loss because sometimes the actual weight doesn't go down, but your body mass index will go down, okay? Or, you know, maybe the skill's not moving, but you notice you can fit into a pair of jeans that you didn't before, okay? And so you can't always look at loss from the cover of the book. You can't always look at it from a number, okay? Because sometimes you have other changes that are happening to your body that you may or may not even realize are taking effect. But you know what? They're taking effect because you... Third, took small, consistent steps to get there, okay? In other words, you decided that you made a decision that you didn't want to plateau anymore, okay? So you started eating healthier. You started doing away with maybe, you know, one, two, three, or four, four or five items that weren't serving you anymore. They weren't helping you to have those changes, okay? So you got rid of those. That made a huge difference, right? Okay? And then you made a decision that uh, you were going to go to bed half an hour earlier. Well, if you're consistent with that, you're going to start seeing results, even if the scale doesn't seem like it's moving right away. So I always tell people, ditch that scale if it becomes um, an idol for you, if it becomes something that, you know, you're obsessed with and it gets you down or it makes you flustered or frustrated or gives you anxiety in some way, that's not really healthy for you. You know, don't watch that, you know, because... Um, I saw pictures the other day of the difference of one person. It was the same person and there was a picture of them at 135 pounds and then there was a picture of them at 150 pounds, okay? And they did consistent habits. They worked out. They I know this person personally, so I know she's working out, okay? She ate healthy. She made healthy decisions about what she put on her plate. She didn't cheat, okay? She may have had a cheat day here or there, actually. But, I mean, overall, she wasn't cheating. She was sticking to her plan, okay? And um, she was going to bed at a reasonable hour. She was doing all the things that it takes to have a positive mindset and to keep her mind in the game and what it is that she was doing, okay? And the scale wasn't moving for her. But you know what? She looked better at 150 pounds than 135 pounds. Why? Because she took tweaks and she made changes, and she did things that were going on underneath the surface. So we can't always look at the surface of situations or where we're at to make a determination of where we're going, okay? Sometimes the work is being done, the, I guess the point is the work is being done inside of us, okay? But we don't always see the change right away. So if we don't see change right away, okay, we shouldn't be nervous or scared of that, okay? We should continue to keep going no matter what. We should make a decision that we're not going to give up no matter what. Sorry, I'm plugging this in because I have a low battery charge. Give me just a second here. Hold on. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Give me one second. Hopefully, this keeps us plugged in, I'm hoping, for the duration here. And if not, we may have to wrap up and continue this times two, okay? But the point is, is that we shouldn't give up 
no matter what our situation looks like, no matter what our dynamic looks like, we need to keep going no matter what that looks like. And we have to be willing and make a determination to make change effective no matter what and to continue to take steps no matter what it looks like and to surrender my fourth and final point to surrender to what that change looks like and not go back not look back at where we were in the past and what our situation was but take that as a strength a weakness that turned into a strength and continue taking those steps to move forward no matter what it looks like because the work is being done on the inside out we are evolving and changing from the inside out i promise you that if you don't give up on the changes that you're making and you keep finding ways to improve and to grow and to develop over time you will see effective change that literally transforms your life whether that's losing weight whether that's relationships whether that's your marriage your relationship with your children your finances I'm not saying don't find somebody that has what you want and go after it yes you should but if you are wanting success and you're wanting to go to that next level you can't be afraid of the steps and the changes you have to make you have to be willing to take steps and make those changes anyway no matter what because if you want that same success that that other person had be prepared prepare your mind to make sacrifices and changes that that person did be prepared to make investments and take risks that that person did to get those results it's time to get off the fence and to make a decision and if this message speaks to you today i wanted to keep it small concise and clear um, i am opening one-on-one -on -one coaching i have a few slots available um but it's going to be on a first come first serve and if I feel like we are going to be a match and a fit, the first session is a free 45 minute consult with me. And then from there, um, if we decide that, yeah, we want to move forward and you're done startling the fence and you want to make some sort of change in your business, you want to make some sort of change in your relationships, you want to make some sort of change with your finances or whatever that looks like, and you're ready to get off the fence, I would love to help you out. I would love to help you make consistent small changes that will make an impact over time that will literally transform your life in all areas i'm going to leave the link in the comments click on that link fill out the application and then i will contact you with my scheduler and we'll schedule a time to personally connect one-on-one -on -one. Um, if you want to reach out to me i'll also leave my contact details in the comment section uh, below this video so just be looking for that it was a pleasure to connect with you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you on Thursday around 12.50 p.m., 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a great day. Bye for now.